So I recently implemented the ability to actually upload a profile picture on the CodeCourse website. So you can see this over in your account area and it's literally as easy as either clicking this and dropping a file or pasting a URL in or you can just take an image and just drag it in. It'll go ahead and upload for you. Now there's a reason I held off on doing this and such a simple thing as uploading a profile picture is actually very complex in the background. The reason being is the variety of pictures that can actually be uploaded mean that you have to resize things or at least have them on some kind of server or content delivery network to actually manipulate the images on the fly. So resize them, scale them, change the quality on the fly. So this can be really annoying. So for example, let's say your user uploaded an image and you resize it to say 80 by 80 pixels. Now that's fine. You have a profile picture that you can use, for example, like in this area here. Now the only problem is what happens when you want to display that image larger? Do you store lots of different files? Well, that's pretty complicated. Now, to achieve what you've just seen here, I used a service called Upload Care. And in the next few videos, we're going to go through basic implementation, uploading our files, and then going ahead and talking about how we might store them. And then later on, we'll look at all of the additional options. Like I said, we'll style up the button. We'll style up the little circle you see when you upload. We'll look at the different sources you can actually upload from. There are a lot more than the ones I choose to allow on CodeCourse. And of course, then we'll look at the content delivery network from Upload Care, which means that we can resize, scale, and do all sorts of things with our images. So let's take a look at how we do a very basic implementation of this. It's really simple to get going. So we'll go ahead and set this up now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously sign up for an Upload Care account. Pretty straightforward. And once you are in, you can head over to your dashboard area. You can see I've already got a project open here. But what we're going to do is create a new project. And we're going to head over to our browser. Simple flat file. We don't need anything too, uh, too advanced. And we're going to go ahead and look at the basic implementation. So let's create a new project. Uh, we can call this whatever. Let's just call it website for now. And go ahead and create this. Okay, so the first thing that you see is the amount of files we have stored and the bytes we have used. The different plans mean you can store more or less. It really depends on your needs. But more importantly, we have the public key and we have a secret key. So there are two kinds of sides to this. We can use the public key, obviously, for the JavaScript side of things and the secret key for the server side of things. Now, we're not going to go too much into the back end kind of stuff of this. We're just going to look at actually getting this widget on the page and having the ability to actually upload a profile picture because we can just store the URL then. We don't really need to touch the back end unless we really want more fine grain control over this whole process. OK, so let's start to implement this out in the uh, browser and just take a look at how it works. So I have a really simple index.html file and just a basic document layout. That's all we really need, to be honest. The next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and pull in the widget JavaScript. So down here at the bottom somewhere, we want to go ahead and pull this in from Upload Care. So we pull this in from uploadcarecdn.com. It's under the widget, the widget version, so 2.8.2 .2 in my case. And then we just want to say upload care and upload care dot full dot min dot js. So now we have this on the page, really easy, straightforward, and we're ready to start defining out some of our settings. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just set up the locale. So in my case, this is just going to be en. Of course, you can check out the documentation and find uh, the other locales that are supported. I'm also going to go ahead and set Upload Care Live to false. And we're going to go ahead and set our public key as well. That's really important, or we're not going to be able to use this. So, Upload Care public key. And of course, we just need to pull this over from here and pop it in there. Okay, so now that we're done, if we head over to our page, obviously not much has changed. What we need to do now is define an input. So obviously, when you are uploading some kind of profile picture, you're going to have a form. So like you saw on the CodeCourse website, we will just have a form hanging around 
that will submit through to maybe a store.php file or whatever route you are working with. And of course, this can include other things as well, the user's email, name, whatever. So in here then, let's just define out an input. Now, this is going to be a hidden input. That's really important. What I'm actually gonna do is pull this down as well because we're gonna define quite a few things in here. So the name of this can just be whatever you want. This is just how you're gonna pick it up on your back end. And here we define a role of upload care uploader. So let's just take a look at what this looks like. Let's put our input button in here, our submit button at least, and just say something like save. So really simple, we pulled in the JavaScript library. We went ahead and defined some settings just up here as globals, and then we have an input. So now you can see on the page, we have our widget created for us. Really straightforward. So if we get rid of role, you see that goes, this is what, allows it to be uh, placed on your page. So now you pretty much have something that can upload files. Let's take a look at how this works. So option one is to just click this and you can see that by default we have quite a few sources that we can upload from. Now of, of course it's entirely up to you which ones you choose and we'll cover that in the next part. But just for example for now if I wanted to go ahead and drag a file onto here you can see that I've successfully gone ahead and uploaded this file. So of course, this can be any image. We can go ahead and cancel that and upload another one if we want to. Really straightforward stuff. And here we just see the name of the file. And of course, if we take a look at some of the other sources here, we've got uh, copying, pasting a link in, so just a file from the web, Facebook, Google Drive, Dropbox, Instagram, Evernote, and Flickr and OneDrive. So you've got plenty of options for your users to upload files. There's no uh, real problem here, uh, particularly if they're just dragging in an image, which is what I prefer. That's why I've just allowed that on the CoCore site. Okay, so now that we've got our image and we're happy with it, we can go ahead and add it. It's signified here that this is ready to go and we can hit save. So how do we go about accessing the actual URL? Well, What's actually happened behind the scenes here, if we go back over to our project settings and give this page a refresh, you can see that we have actually uploaded these files already. So these have been stored with upload care. So what that means is that when we do submit this form, we'll get a URL to the content delivery network uh, with upload care that will give us the file that we can work with. So let's create this store.php file. Of course, if you're using any other backend language, it really doesn't matter as long as you know how to pick up variables uh, posted through the form. And here, just to demonstrate this, we're gonna do a var dump on post. And remember, we call this avatar. So simple as that. So when we hit save, you can see here, we now get a string, and this is actually just a URL to this image. Now this is the UUID, so it's a unique ID that represents the image that this user has uploaded. And you can see here that this literally just contains the image that I uploaded, simple as that. Now this is slightly different. This isn't just serving one file and one file only. This gives us the ability to manipulate this image on the fly. So we've still got the original file here, but what we can actually do is we can manipulate it. We're gonna look at doing that a little bit later on. So the benefit of using this then is that we can upload from a variety of sources. We've seen how easy it is to just implement the widget, it, you know, a couple of lines of code and we're pretty much ready to go. And of course, everything is hosted away from your server, less strain on your server. You're pulling it through from a CDN. So now that we know the basic implementation and we've seen how this works, as well as actually doing things like dragging it onto the page as well, so that works too, we're going to look at some additional options that we can use to kind of customize the experience. So let's head over to the next video and check out what we can do there.